Hi guys, today is your first workshop day on your film festival project. You are taking a piece of mentor text and turning it into film, just like I did. If you need to, make sure you review my sample. In a minute I'll pull up the rubric, so you want to keep that handout and packet nearby as a resource. Uh, here's the agenda. The focus today is how can you get footage. And to get footage, there's some like milestones, like mentor text, storyboard, and then actually using your phones and collecting film. Homework, you have workshop for the next three days. The only thing that's going to be different is on Thursday, you have to answer a question about your work and your project status on Google Classrooms. That's a 15 point assignment. And it's more important uh, because it's an opportunity for me to give you some feedback while I'm in Salt Lake. Moving on to my tips for footage. The first thing you need to do is find a mentor text, print it out. If you haven't done that already, you need to do that today. Or if you're using an SSR book, go take the SSR book, take it across the hall, and make a copy of the page or pages that you want to pick apart on the copy machine. You want to have that because it's 10 points on the rubric. Every single one of you in the group needs to annotate and pick it apart because there might be some things in that mentor text that you think could turn into some really good footage moments. Um, beware just making your film what is already done on film. And if it's like um, a famous film like The Great Gatsby and Carrie, I know have popped up. You want to make sure that you are looking at the text on its own first and foremost. After you get your mentor text and you pick it apart and you talk about it with your group mates, then you need to start storyboarding. And that is basically figuring out the footage you want to collect before you even start filming. And just like I did, there's some things I knew I really wanted to do. I really wanted to zoom in on the cheese because that was a focal point of my story. And I knew I wanted to have dialogue back and forth. So storyboarding is going to help you. You guys are allowed to submit one storyboard for your group. This mentor text, you, everybody's got to do it, but the storyboard could be a group effort. When you get done with that, then you could start to get materials ready and start doing footage. Um, I don't think you are ready to do footage until you can prove to Mrs. Washak that these two activities are done. Because if you're just going to go out and get footage, it's not going to be as organized and it's also not going to be connected to that mentor text. So you're going to probably want to do multiple takes and versions. So when I did the video with my children, I actually did the dialogue multiple times. I ended up having too much footage, but you do want to get materials. Like I got the cheese cut up and had it ready to go. Um, if you need props, what do you want to do with that? How do you want to set your scene, missing scene, you know? Uh, having it right in front of the lockers can be pretty boring, so you want to make sure that you think about that kind of setup. Also, today's strategy would be to create a Google Drive, which I'll show that to you in just a second. As you do that, um, I want to go back to the rubric. This is the same thing I just outlined to you, but if you look at this, um, 10 points is getting that creative writing piece and annotating it, and another 10 points is the content of your piece where you have a good story. You can't have a good story until you talk about it and storyboard what the story is that you want to create. And that story could be connected to a theme or something um, like I did guilt and sorry but not sorry. And then also thinking about the variety of shots you want to create and how you want to make your video fun. So keep the rubric handy. Make sure you reference the um, samples that I've already given you. A, a couple more tips about filming. Um, I always forget this, but record horizontally. Um, when you record vertically, it creates big uh, black bars in your uh, video, and it, it's a little bit awkward. And it will zoom in on your video on iMovie, and it's not as polished. Um, give yourself three seconds to start recording and three seconds to finish it. So let's say you're going to have somebody say, oh, no, it's a dog. You might say, one, two, three. Oh, no, it's a dog one two three and then pause it or stop it because that's going to give you a little bit of time to do edits in between the clips and then watch the lighting um, sometimes I've recorded things and it's really dark and uh, you can't really see the video clip when you put it onto iMovie or your whatever your program is you got workshop today 
I think goal one is mentor text, goal two is storyboard, and then goal three would be actually starting to create some footage with your phones. And closing, what did you accomplish? And just be ready to tell me the status tomorrow. Good luck.